Well, hello everybody. Hello. We are making America great again. So great to be here. Thank you, Omar. I loved your speech. That was incredible. Fully endorsed you. We gotta, we gotta drain the swamp. California is is up to here with that swamp, so we really gotta get rid of that few waters. So I'm here and I'm honored to be among some of the best Republicans in the world. You guys are fighting for our rights every day. Second Amendment rights, First Amendment rights. Kelly Ward, she's here. This is incredible, so I'm really grateful. So a little bit about me. I am a singer-songwriter. I was raised conservative. I was raised in Los Angeles and New York, some of the most liberal cities on the planet. Right? How it is. And uh, but I was raised that way, and I always knew that I would stand out from the crowd. That's just how it is. I always knew that my thinking would be different than someone else's thinking. So I, I learned to just protect myself and create my art, and grow a thick skin, and not care what other people thought. Well, little did I know I would be here standing right now, publicly a Trump supporter, publicly known for the Grammy's dress. This is incredible. This is really life-changing. When I decided to wear that dress, it was after Madonna had come out and said she thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Boo! Yeah, boo! Nasty. Anybody else would have been arrested on the spot, don't you think? Yeah. For some reason, her elite celebrity status kept her from that. And I was disgusted by my peers as a musician, how they could blatantly have death threats against our president, not respect his office. And nothing would happen. Legal immigrant and Trump supporter, Andre Soriano, is going to sign you. Yes. He's been designing my Grammys dresses for the last three years. So this year we said, let's show our support for the president. Let's combat the negativity. Let's take back the narrative. And let's be strong. And together, in unity, we can make America great again. And that's what we did. I planned it. I executed it. I know what you guys are all thinking, like, what were you thinking during that moment, right? Well, I was nervous. I'd already faced a backlash for simply saying I was proud that I voted. I didn't even say who I voted for on my social media. But it happened to be the same night that Donald Trump got elected, and I was crying with happiness. Finally, finally, right? After eight years of suffering under Obama, who did nothing for race relations in this country, did nothing but divide this country, drain it of its resources, put people out of work, it was finally time for a real hero. And I believe that, very much believe that is our president right now, President Trump. It's great to be amongst like-minded people too, who think the same way. The intelligence in this room is obviously so high. So, high. <laughs> so when I came out in support for him, I knew that it could pop, you know, quite possibly cost me a lot of my career. Probably would cost me a lot. Probably would cost me jobs, relationships, family involvement. You guys have all been there, I'm sure. But I didn't care. I couldn't stay in the closet. And I couldn't take the negativity because it not only hurts Trump supporters, I mean, we're used to it every day. We get called off all kinds of names. It, it not only hurts Trump, I don't think it really hurts him because he's like, he's got the bulletproof vest. But what it does is it hurts America. To tear down our president so publicly, it hurts America's youth. It hurts young millennials like me and Omar, who actually want to change this country. We've got Turning Point USA here. I mean, young people are rising up. When I was a young conservative years ago, still a young conservative, but uh, you know, when I was a young conservative years ago, I didn't have the sort of back, you know, backup that I see now. We didn't have a lot of the, the people, the Ben Shapiro's and the Milo's and the people who were out and proud. I didn't see them, not in Hollywood. So I decided to be that person, and I covered my dress because, first of all, I thought maybe people are going to get violent. They might try to rip it off. Madonna might attack me. <laughs> she might light me on fire. Yeah, she might try to light me on fire. She might try to blow me up, mistake me for the White House, you know. All right, but I don't think that. Cher and all those other celebrities, which I used to support their music, but I can't now, out of principle. I just can't. I can't do that. So I wore the white cape, 
and I talked about love and unity. With every interview, before I hit that main red carpet that you guys all saw pictures of, I talked about love, support, and unity. And nobody knew what was under there. And everybody accepted my message, and everybody said I looked beautiful. TNT, uh, Spanish TNT, uh, published a, an, an article about me before I hit the final red carpet, praising my talk of love and unity. And then, <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> Boom! And reveal my real message, which of course was the same message of love and unity. Make America great again! Yeah. And if anybody had any doubt what I was talking about, Lifetime shot. <laughs> so I don't think it was political. I think they were just happy they could make money. Somebody was finally woke on the right carpet. <laughs> and then came the people from all, you know, Perez Hilton and CNN and CBSN and all the other things, Bravo TV, and they all came up to me. And they said, "Excuse me, uh, our producers really want to know: Are you serious or is this a joke?" Is it joke? Is it joke? Not really. And I was like. Yeah, I voted for Trump and I'm proudly pro Trump. And just smiled at them. And so they're like, oh, okay, we'll tell our producers. Like, I can't think with it, I can't think with it. They were so confused and I loved it. I loved it. I was prepared for this moment. And I tell many of my fans, many of my followers, in any industry where you are an out proud conservative, a thick skin. People say, how can you take the death threats? I received death threats for simply wearing a dress. Oh yeah, they threatened my life. They said someone should string her up, somebody should kill her, let's all kill her, blah blah blah, I won't go on, but you, you get the drift, you guys have been on the internet before. I got everything, I, I got called the most racist names you could ever imagine. Wow. Slandered. They found pictures of me and my husband and said, oh, it's because she's married to a white guy. And these were not backwoods Trump supporters. These were liberals, working in Hollywood, in professional atmospheres. Some of them were TV producers, some of them were music producers. I recognized their names because I, I worked alongside of many of them a year before, and they were all smiles, taking selfies with me. Not anymore. But you know what? I don't need those kind of people, because I'm an independent artist. And even though I, hate, I faced hate and a backlash, well, you guys know what happened to my music sales. Number one across all the charts, I outsold major, major artists who collected Grammys that night, who performed that night, who have millions of dollars of money behind them. They all endorsed Hillary. They all thought she was gonna win. And here's little old me, just showing support for the president, and I beat all their record sales. business, in all business, because whatever you do, you have to remain ethical, am I right? Why, you sell, why sell your soul for what, for a few minutes of fame? I've seen people come and go, drugs, alcohol, the industry, my industry, some of it, and I've never resorted to cheap tricks, or selling my soul, or saying, yeah, I'll just say that just to be popular, because I'm independent. I don't have a record label. I said, what are, what are they going to do, fire me? They never offered me a job. My publicist is a Trump supporter, my manager is a Trump supporter, the people I choose to work with are Trump supporters. It just happened to be that we, like-minded people, found each other. And the people who are not Trump supporters, well guess what? Now with this economy so strong and one billion jobs added and the veterans finally getting, getting the benefits they deserve, a lot of artists, a lot of my friends in the industry have come over to the side. They say, Joy, maybe uh, I could do kind of want to maybe sort of make America a little great again. And that's what I love about this movement more than anything. It's unity, and it's across, you know, different divides, racial divides, communication divides, uh, language barriers. You know, like Omar said, there's, there's legal immigrants who are so pro-Trump because they want to protect their citizenship with all their heart. They value America. This beautiful flag, one nation under God. We're not going to let them take that away. 
Amen. And that's really what we're doing today. We are fighting for our future. We are fighting for the future of our children, the next generation. And if we don't protect our values, if we don't protect our economy, if we don't pre protect America, they will tear it down. So I never had a, a second thought. I'm happy to be out and proud as a Trump supporter. I've been able to tour the country. I've been able to do all sorts of things. And what I'm most proud of is just in the last few days, me and my friend, former pussycat doll, Kaya Jones, yeah. I'm a Trump supporter, Woo! who raised $1 million for Mercury One to aid hurricane relief of Hurricane yes. Harvey. flying to Houston, to Dallas, and then going to Houston to directly help Mercury1.org and aid and help in any way I can the victims of Hurricane Harvey. Because I need to show people this is what celebrity is about. This is what I use my platform for. I want to see more Hollywood elites speak up about this. There's very few. And we need to protect, serve, heal, and help and unify America, especially in tragedy. And I know you Texas is strong. Arizona strong, California strong, one America, one mind, one spirit, one God, one nation. And I'm proud to be here, and I'm proud to make America great again with everybody. So thank you so much, and uh, God bless you.